buy bagged potting soil when you can make it yourself. It'll be healthier quality, uh, good draining, and it will be a lot less expensive. I personally take issue with buying bags of potting soil that is loaded with sticks and debris and chunks of bark because when you are putting a plant, whether it's a small plant start or a mature uh, hanging basket, when you put the plants in, in the pot with that old stuff that's full of bark and, and debris and sticks, those roots have a hard time you know, making their way around in that pot, especially young plants that are just trying to get started. I have been making my own potting soil for quite some time. This is not potting soil or soil that I'm going to use in my garden boxes because I need to, that would be a lot more that I would need than what I can make in a, a little container over here. But for all my hanging baskets or plant starts that I need to up pot to move them into bigger pots, I have started making my own potting soil for some time now and I love it. The plants drain so much better. The plants thrive because um, it's just a better quality. So I wanted to show you what I use, how I make mine. It is not um, a specific recipe. It's not a hard and fast rule. This is just works what works for me. And you can mix yours however you want, and you can use products that you want. But the, the, the point that I'm making is that you can make your own and save a lot of money. So let me get my stuff together and I will show you. Oh, let me just show you some I've already got made. This is a pan that I've already made and been using. But let me show you how light and fluffy it is. It drains really well. Look at this, light and fluffy, but it holds enough moisture to keep my the roots of my plant happy but it breaks apart so it's going to retain moisture but it's also going to let the excess moisture drain out so let me change pans and i'll show you how i make it this is a pan that i bought from home depot let me come back just a little it's a lightweight pan. It was very inexpensive. I got it from Home Depot in the um, mortar section where you buy bags of concrete because that's pretty much what they, they sell it for. I don't know why they don't have these in the garden center. Um, I think that they would sell a lot of them, but you have to go to where you find the bags of concrete and pick one of these up. These are useful all over the place. I'm going to get me a few more. Okay, so the first thing you need is peat moss, okay? And there are, like I said, no fast rules. You just get you some and start out with it. I can't give you measurements. I go by how it looks. You're gonna wanna break it apart. It's very dusty. If you're doing a lot at one time, you may want to water it in, wet it down, make it easier to work with. But I just take peat moss, run it through my hands, and break up those little clots, clumps. I'm obviously out here in the greenhouse, and there's a lot of traffic going by, so I'm sorry about that traffic noise. So I'm just going to break up. I'm just going to do a small amount because I already have that big container full right now. But I'm just going to show you how I do it and make just a small amount. That seems broken up pretty good. Now, I buy compost. I buy mushroom compost. Let me see. I'll put the bag down a little. So you can see it. This particular brand works well for me. 
You can buy any kind. This is new leaf mush, organic mushroom compost. You can use black cow. You can use any kind of compost that you want. For me, black cow works well outside. I don't dislike it, but I'm not going to use it to put in my um, potting mixes because sometimes certain baskets or pots come inside or they're on my porch. And the black cow to me smells really bad. <coughs> so I don't like to use it. This mushroom compost does not have any smell and it works pretty good. Now the amount of compost you put in is just going to, you're just going to look and feel. <coughs> like I said, it's dusty, so you can water it down. I'm going to spray mine just a little just to knock down some of the dust. Makes it easier to work with. So you want to just mix your compost. I need a lot more compost because I've got more peat moss than I do compost. So I will open a new bag. Let me get my scissors. I should have said and done just a little bit of peat moss. You want to do just a little at a time because this stuff grows, believe it or not. That peat moss goes a long ways. There are no measurements. I'm going to add some perlite. Any brand will do. You can use um, vermiculite. A lot of people use vermiculite. I just use perlite. It works well for me. I need to cut this. Perlite's very dusty too. So you just have to be careful working with it or wet it down because you will suck some dust in and it's not fun. So I'm just going to take and blend all of this like I'm making dough, turning dough in a bowl. If you find out that it's a t little bit too little of one thing or too much of another, you just add more of a different ingredient. <coughs> that dust is getting to me. Dig it up from the bottom so you can get all of that peat moss that's under there blended really good. If you come across any clumps, just rub them together. You can make it as heavy as you feel like you need, or you can make it as light and fluffy as you need. Whoops, I found a stick. That came out of the compost, I guess. I'm going to put in just a little bit more peat moss. Now before I go and put um, this stuff in my hanging baskets or my pots, I may put just a little tiny bit of a fertilizer, but it's not necessary for right now because the compost itself is full of nutrients. Your plants will get a lot of nutrients from just this alone. But if you want to add some fertilizer, to kickstart things you could. No harm in that.
You want to mix it until you do not see dry peat moss. And you kind of visually can tell that you've got a uniform amount of the perlite in there. And if you have any potting soil left, if it's not, you know, too full of debris or anything, you can even add, um, combine some potting soil that you've already got on hand and it'll rejuvenate that potting soil. I've done that before too. Had some soil out of a pot that wasn't that old and I just didn't want to dispose of it, you know, in the yard or use it elsewhere. So I have put potting soil in it that was in good shape. So this is what I have. It's light, it's fluffy. It has a few sticks in it from the compost, but it's not full of bark. That's the part I hate, is chunks of bark everywhere because all those little roots from your new plants are just gonna have a hard time hitting all that bark and trying to make its way where it needs to go. So it's that simple. And this is a little wet because I did uh, put the hose on it and moisten it, but it'll hold together well. It'll hold moisture, but it'll also break apart. And that just means that it's gonna drain really well. It's easy. It takes a few minutes of your time and buying the perlite, the peat moss, and the compost, you're gonna spend a little bit of money it's not going to be uh, a huge amount, but in the end, between those bags of things, you're going to make a larger bag of potting soil than you would buy for the same price in the store. I know it made a, it has it has over time made a huge difference in my plants getting them out of um, soil bags of potting soil that no matter how it's labeled, just didn't have any nutrition to it, no nutrients, and it's made a difference in a lot of my plants. So, anyways, let me turn this around. So, anyways, um, I hope it was helpful. I hope that um, you'll consider making your own pot and soil, save some money, and have better quality soil than you would if you bought bags of potting soil. I personally, I have bought a lot of bags, different brands, different prices, different sizes, and I've not found any that I have been happy with. But if I keep these ingredients on hand, then I can make the potting soil anytime that I need it and I'm not stuck having to run out and go buy something I don't like using. I hope this was helpful and I hope that uh, you'll comment to me and let me know if you have made any and how you like it. Have a great day.